Lord a shout. Give him a shout. Give him a shout. Can you help us? Who is your engineer? Can the happiest person shout hallelujah? I want you to find one person and say to him or her, this night is your night of new beginning. I'm going to request that there be no more movement. Let us respect and reverence and acknowledge the peculiar concentrated presence of God. I don't have to pray for miracles to happen. At my age, I have been preaching for 72 years. Listen to me. I have come to a place where I make declarations and miracles will happen. Uh, in Paul, the Paul is close to nature. I declared that 2,500 cancer patients shall be healed without prayer. And I began to name or number the number of those God had healed. A woman turned to me and said, Old oh boy, he the grace. They told us he was saying, Dance, come. Can somebody put the fan, please? The fan. They told us he would sing and dance and shout and preach. Now you're busy counting figures. As she said that line, her left breast squeezed and she vomited out cancer. In a well, about 22 weeks ago, I told the stadium crowd that God will heal without me saying any word of prayer. And every cripple in the in the stadium, okay, remove this fan. I asked the 18 cripples in the stadium to walk out of the stadium and go home. That they have been healed. As they began to stand up and walk out of the stadium. My good son from Portaco took my picture and poured one million naira notes on my head and posted it to Koza in Abuja. The next morning they were in my house asking me to follow them to Abuja. Okay, I don't know you, I will not follow you. He began to cry. His humility touched me. I said, okay, let's go. We went to Abuja and I announced that God will heal 200,000 people without prayer. And those who shall fall under the anointing in their toilets will sleep there for three nights as punishment. Little did I know my cousin will be one of them. He woke up and asked the wife, why did you poison me? That made me sleep in this toilet for three days. The wife said, it's not me, it's your brother. 
He called to say, I will not call you again. You are not a human being. Since then, tonight, he has not called me. That's okay by me. I know you have been waiting. But it will not be in vain. At the appropriate time, I'm going to ask those who come from families where people die prematurely, unexpectedly, over stupid sicknesses. I will ask God to set you free from premature death. All the women who have been asking God and harassing God for not blessing them with children, your punishment will be every year one child. A woman in New York where we live saw me along the road. She shouted at me and said, you're a wicked man. You know I have no child. You have no bother to pray for me. Madam, it is not the doctor that seeks the sick. It is the sick that seeks the medical doctor. And for harassing me, your punishment will be every year one child for seven years. I don't know whether you know life is made in a way we are not all equal and there are men who are more anointed than others. Huh? She had seven children, cooked food for me, brought it through my wife. Madam, tell her I will not eat her food. For doing what she had just done, the days of having children shall not be extended to three years. That's ten children. She said she will kill herself. That's okay. If I slap you on your two cheeks, you wake up. She said I'll remove the womb. I have anointed to call by removed womb. She looked at me and said, didn't I say you're wicked? I have always heard that before. That's not you. This is a good, great night. This year shall be your greatest year in life. Uh, I came with a girl who is my wife. We have been married for 48 years. Um, I have taken her to every part of the world except Russia. I would like her to, she, she had a story about Togoja. I would like her to greet you. Praise the Lord. Some of you were not born when I was in Togoja. Uh, my father was a teacher. He taught in Ugep and was transferred to Goja. And he was a teacher in St. Thomas's College. So I came to Goja as a small girl when I was in primary one in the convent uh, primary school. You can be louder. We want to hear you. <laughs> so I was in convent school, Igoli. And I was there from my primary school until I finished secondary school. Then I went to Abakliki. We were living in, in Aba, um, Ogoja until the war started. So it was the one that took us back to, to our home. So I, I know so many people. I'm not sure those I know are still alive. Uh, my husband calls me again. I am 75 years old. Actually, 
I came to Goja because I just wanted to come. I know I'm still in uh, Abakpa. I told my husband we are not in Ugojo. Goja is over there. We are in Abakpa. And I have a very good story about Abakpa. When we were in school, I had a friend, Dorothy Ujuku. The mother lived here for a long time. And um, we, we, the girls from um, Sharon, Abakliki, we promised to have a day out. And I didn't know what to tell my mother. So I told her, Ma, you remember your friend gave birth in Abakpa? He said, yes. I said, okay, let me go and find out. It's not good to tell lies. So I came, we just went around Abakpa, enjoying ourselves. And as a small girl, I forgot stupidity. I didn't know where the woman lived. So I went back. Ma said, how was, the, how was my friend? I said, fine. What of the baby? I said, fine. What sex? I said, Ma, when I carried the baby, he was wearing the baby was wearing napkin. So I couldn't tell whether it was a girl or a boy. From that day, any any day my mother is going to church, I'll keep my finger like this. I say, may the two of them never ask talk about. It. Thank God I've repented. I'm now a child of God. Yeah. You know, most of us in Ogoja in those days were all Catholics. So I was baptized, Philomena, confirmed, Patricia, so I'm Philomena, Patricia. <laughs> it's good to be a child of God. I always tell people, when we go to heaven, I'll go very fast. My father was in Praetorian Church in um, Ugep. I was baptized. We call that one baptism when they sprinkle on you. Then I came to Goja, went to convent school, I was baptized. Started taking communion. To marry him. In assemblies of God, they say, all that one I did was a joke. So I was baptized by mention. So I have three baptismal. So I believe I'll go very fast to heaven. Because I have been washed three times. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Actually, I was very tired because our son is getting married in two weeks' time. But I made up my mind to come and see Uguja. When I was coming, my brother, who stood in the Merinolo, uh, Okuku, he said, Philo, when you go, take pictures. Let me see what Uguja looks like. So if you don't take me to where I live, you will be in trouble. Brethren, God bless you in Jesus' name. God, does she look like an old woman? Who is your bassist? Oga? Okay. You know how to play? If you play well, all of you go home with 50,000 naira. Play for me. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Wait, 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 wait. No, that promise is unnecessary. Do 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 Who had the lead guitar? What is the lead guitarist? He's not here. Huh? Are you the lead guitarist? The best you. Take it from him. Who is the lead guitarist? Huh? You don't have lead guitarists. Why? Why do you call yourself a band? 
Okay, use your keyboard and play for me. Tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them. Tell them. Good. The song is about my travel across the world preaching the same gospel. For 15 years, I smuggled Bibles to China. The only day they caught me with 300 Bibles, my suitcase matched their machine. And they asked me, are you a native doctor? I am worse than a native doctor. They said, uh, carry your trouble and go. In uh, Gombe. What is it, Pastor Joe? Am I correct, Gombe? We went from song to song. A woman who was blind, full of anointing, and her eyes opened. Boko Haram boys came after me. They did not know there's a level and a measure of anointing God can give to a man. And that night, that anointing will carry what we call the fragrance of anointing. Every gun they aimed at me, the gun would just say, Pop, I will not fire. They came asking me to teach them the secret behind such move of God. Of course, I drove them away. They insisted. I paid their way to you. But we didn't discuss. In Medukri, in Medukri, the governor asked me not to put the program together. That there was a plan to kill me. Okay? If God wants me to die in Medukri, I'm ready. But don't stop me. You know, as we went from song to song, Cripples began to dance with their wheelchairs. I asked the, the Boko Haram boys to run because they cannot be the only mad men at the gates. Wherever you see a madman, there's another madman. I told them I will show them that I was a very good madman. I asked God to kill all of them. The governor asked me, are you really a human being? Hey, dog, me in the US agency, don't ask me so silly question. I will not answer. This night is a great night. Yeah. If you know that song, join us and sing. If you don't know that song, don't bite your tongue. Huh? The song says, I know what Jehovah Ami moyo ami kwe anyo wo ite te chigoba ami moyo ami kwe anyo wo te to bong mambo ami moyo mami kwe ami moyo mami kwe ami moyo mami kwe anyo wo te te chigoba ami moyo mami kwe anyo wo te to bong mambo I know you, mommy, queen. I know you, mommy, for you, mommy, for you, mommy. I mean, more your mammy, 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 I mean, more your I mean, 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 I
Everybody take your seat and please listen attentively and intently and earnestly. Many of us don't know that song is an invitation that God cannot refuse. As we go from song to song, come, come, stop talking, stop talking, please. I am not a regular human being. If you want trouble, I'll give you a basket of trouble. Huh? I don't want you to compel me to cause trouble. I have come to bless. The story of our family will change tonight. Come, young girls. Hey, hey, hey. Head mistress. Sit down somewhere. You know, new dress has a way of making people to frequent the toilet. Stop going up and down. Sit down. Song is an invitation that God cannot refuse. My first children were born crippled. But the first one was also born crippled. When I came back from Bible college, Everybody asks me, when shall this child walk? Men and brethren, every problem has time limits. No problem will last forever. I went from song to song without even saying a word, without praying. And the young man fell under the anointing and slept off. Tonight, I don't know what will happen because we're in a hurry to go waiting for tomorrow. I will not ask anybody to sleep on his or her legs. That will be tomorrow. But, miracles will take place in the lives of many. It was my wife's nurse that asked me, where shall this your son walk? I looked at her and said to her, for turning your mouth into a basket mouth, the boy shall walk now. I went from song to song, the boy fell under the anointing and slept off. Woke up and said to me, Daddy, do you know angels were here? They have taken my two legs. I can now walk and run. I dropped to where my wife was, said to her, Madam, your boy now walks. She looked into my eyes, said nothing. Come, come. Those who are still going up and down, okay? Hey, that big man. Don't make me spoil this night. Please. I want us to respect he that lives in heaven. He said to all, be still, I know that I am God. Where people make noise, which is common with us from the eastern part of Nigeria. We have no respect for our elders, nor God. 
or anybody. Please, not this night. Let us love this God. That he may turn your lamentation into laughter. Turn your disgrace into grace. And turn your disappointment into supernatural appointment. And catapult you to a place of honor and promotion. Those of you who come from families where people die prematurely, I declare tonight never again. I ran to my wife and said to her, Madam, your son now walks. She did not betray any emotion. She just looked at me and said to me, as a preacher, you're not allowed to tell lies. Which means I was lying. And she said, but if it is true, the boy now walks, I'll give you a goat. So I picked my pen and wrote the word goat and asked her to sign under. clever woman. She said to me, give me money and I'll buy you a goat. She, she was principal of the college. Buy you a goat. I jumped into my car and left for our village. About 9 p.m. Met her father. Told the father the story. Rich man. He got up and danced for me. And, and said to me, go to the other end of my backyard, we are going to see many goats. Pick one. Men and brethren, ignorance is a very big weight. I chose the biggest goat, not knowing the goat was pregnant. <laughs> On my return to her house, she just studied me from my head to my toes and asked me, what do you think you are doing? You have just taken my father's house. I mean, my father's goats. And you're telling me you didn't know it was a pregnant goat. Sorry. Whether the goat is pregnant or not, this goat shall die. Anyway, we ate the goat. Amazingly, the next day I had greater will for Christ crusade. God said to me, this other one that doesn't walk shall now sleep by 9 p.m. and wake up by 10 a.m. She said, wake up healed. When I told my mother, she said, look, <laughs> don't play with this story. You mean the girl now walks? And I said, yes. She danced for me. I want you to bring out your Bible. Let me bring out the contextual and the conceptual and the content and intent of the Bible. Let's see the book of Exodus, chapter 23. We tell the 23, 22, 25. Write it down somewhere. Knowledge is power, but information is the currency. I don't want you to remain what you have been before. Beginning tonight. What distinguishes a man from the next man is what God has revealed to him he has not revealed to others. I want God to reveal mysteries to you beginning tonight. Hey, all those who look down on you, they'll regret it. All those who say I don't birthday, they'll regret it. My uncle used to say to me, Oh, my for accepting to be a born again child of God, you'll be hopelessly and wretchedly and stupidly poor. <laughs> uncle, if this God called me to follow him, I will have no business with poverty. As I speak to you tonight, we are building two universities. I have built already three hospitals, I have built six, six streets in my village. And I'm planning to do more. I have already built College of Nursing and Midwifery. And I'm planning to build College of Mercy. Everything men say cannot be done shall be done by me. I'm, I'm not saying you should li like me. You don't have to like me. A man who has no enemies is an idiot. 
you didn't hear me. If you are hopelessly and wretchedly and stupidly poor, you won't have any enemy. <laughs> but I want you to know what distinguishes a man from the next man is what God has shown him that God had not shown others. In that family you come from, stand where God will show you the mysteries of life. I will show you the secret behind miracles. And you are going to be a great person. Yeah. I am waiting to hear that you have gone to study overseas. Yeah. No, you must wait, 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 wait. You must promise me to tell your classmates in every exam and next exam I beat all of you. I have to say to my classmates and they'll get very angry. Look at these stupid people. One day one of them pulled his gun at me and I laughed because in Nigeria even a pregnant woman can pull the trigger of her gun. Doesn't make her great. Right where you are sitting now miracles are already going on in your life. Later, my uncle said to me, if I knew you would be this great the day you were born, I would have been calling you, sir. And I looked up and looked down and said to my uncle, if you call me, sir, now, I will like it. This is my girl and wife protested. How can you ask your uncle to call you, sir? In the battle of life, everything you touch is a weapon. My friend in Abam, armed robbers came to rob him. He grabbed his shoe, only one, and killed two of them. When they went to court, he asked the judge, have you bothered to ask me what instruments I use in killing the two? <laughs> the judge asked him to answer. He said, I use just one of the two pair of shoes I had. What time was it? He said, 2 a.m. Where? In the bedroom. The judge shouted, you mean they came to your bedroom? He said, they did. And I had to teach them a lesson. Right where you are tonight, I want to declare you a candidate for miracles. <laughs> Don't we say to God, Oluwa mi modupe, Oluwa mi modupe, Oluwa mi modupe, 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 Oluwa mi modupe, Oluwa mi modupe, Oluwa mi modupe.
the book of Exodus chapter 23 verse 26 through 20, I mean 25 through 26 write it down I said before knowledge is power but information is a currency yes sir Exodus 23, 25 and ye shall save the Lord your God right where you are sitting tonight if you will serve God with all your heart, if you will serve God all the days of your life, this God will bless you beyond measure. Yeah. It's now 72 years I've been preaching. I've never borrowed money. I've never owed anybody. I've never begged anybody for money. We were coming out of uh, out of where? Huh? A man said to me, I've heard you preaching in our country for 20 years. I like you. God has asked me to give you six billion to build an aeronautical engineering university. I almost collapsed. I was shocked as soon as news went to town that I have such money in my account. Every bank worker came looking for me. Right where you are. This God said, if you serve me, if you love me, if you treat me as great as I think I am, I'll bless you, number one. What else? Ciao. And it shall bless thy bread and thy water. I will bless your bread and your water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. Even those who are outside this hall, I want you to hear me. There is, an, there is a command that this God will take away your sickness. 12 years ago, I went to see my doctor with Archbishop uh, uh, Bassey and with my chief of staff and my wife. My doctor examined me and began to cry. Doc, why are you crying? He said, you have only one more hour to live. You will soon die. Doc, if I slap you, you not remember your mother's name. My wife came and grabbed me and said, you don't talk to a, a, a doctor like that. Science is the product of the man, it is limited. Anointing has no limit. Before I could say Jack Robinson, my wife and the governor brought an aircraft to fly me out of Nigeria to London. But I had a joke. I said to her, if I have one hour to leave and you fly me to London, that means I'll die six times before I reach London. 
She asked me a very beautiful question. Can anything ever rattle you? Well, every runner runs according to his sight. Your relationship with God will determine what you will see and what you will not see. I told her, Madam, I'm coming back tomorrow. Please give food for me. We arrived in London. They brought doctors to attend to me. They brought me, they searched me, they examined me. For four hours, they saw no sickness. They said, give us back the bed we gave you and the room we gave you. We saw no sickness in your body. Only you don't know how to rest. Uh, what of the money I gave? They said that that's a punishment for not knowing how to rest. I didn't know when I opened my mouth and said to them, you Europeans are better thieves than Nigerians. But God will forgive you. I flew back to Rio the next day and went for that my food. Wow. By the time I arrived with you, the crowd was everywhere. I'm not saying you will not die. I am saying you will not die like an ordinary person. There shall nothing cast their young. Every woman listening to me tonight, hear what the Bible says. Your child will not die prematurely. Yes, sir. Nor be barren in thy land. Every woman, you really have no choice. You must bear a child. You will never be barren. Yeah. A, 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 a woman came to our house. She said to me, my mother-in-law called me a, a witch because I have had no child. So I want to kill myself in your house. That way you tell God how I died. Look at this crazy girl. I looked at her. I probed her and searched her. I said to her, your punishment for what you have just said will be this. Every year, one child. How many has she now? Four children. Four children. The Bible we are reading says, none shall be buried. None. I don't care what your uncle is doing. Those who don't like you, everybody can't like you. There are people who just hate you because you look pretty. But by my declaration tonight, you will not be barren. Can you raise your hand and declare and decree and say, I shall not be barren in my lifetime. Come on, let's say to God, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
that has not played the year has not started. Are you hearing me? Wow. That's the beginning of your greatness. I I was speaking for a man of Sakwe in Lagos. One of his members ran to me and said, Sir, I want to kill myself. I'm hopelessly and wretchedly and solidly and foolishly poor. I want to die. I looked at him and said, You must be silly. You don't see what I see. In seven years' time, you'll be the seventh richest man in Nigeria. Why would you waste your life when tomorrow shall be greater than today? He collapsed and began to cry. Seven years after, he called me and said, um, that prophecy has come to pass. I am now the seventh richest man in Nigeria. And God asked me to give you, how much, sir? 13 billion, billion naira. Right where you are standing, what God can do for you is limitless and boundless. I got one of my sons, I won't give you his name in Port Harcourt, 60 million. I gave another one, 40 million. I think I gave about uh, how many? 40 million. Five of them. The former PFN officer was given the same 40 million. The bishop in Calabar was given the same 40 million and he collapsed. The bank called me and said, the man who asked her to give money had just collapsed. And I said to them, pour hot water on him and uh, cold water. He must collect this money. Right where you are standing this night, heaven is drawing circumstances together that will bring you to a place of miracles. The number of thy days I will fulfill. I don't know if you know that God has a number for your life. And he will fulfill it. <laughs> Last year, native doctor from my village threatened to kill me, which was okay by me. I said to my driver, pack our car where they will not kill the wrong person. And he began to cry. He began to cry. My sister went to my wife and said to her, we have come to evacuate you out of this village. It is a plan to kill your husband and kill your children and kill you. 
She just laughed like a Jesha cat and said to them, nobody can harm my husband. As they approached where I was, they said they saw me with 1,000 soldiers. And they began to run. Right where you are standing. God will throw circumstances together and bring you to a place of miracles. I am going to have this meeting to be as brief as briefly can briefly be. It will not last long. But there are many people here that God shall wipe away their tears. And this God will put a smile on your lips. I'm going to go to one aspect of this, my sermon tonight. Sit down. Let's go to the book of Genesis chapter 20. We'll take verse 1 through verse 7. Please write down what I'm saying because I want my message to go to your heart and leave a powerful message there. That message is that this God can do boundless possibilities. What? This God can do boundless possibilities. Yes, sir. Genesis 20 from verse 1. And Abraham journeyed from thence toward the south country and dwelt between Kadesh and Shaw and John in Gera. And Abraham said of Sarah, his wife, Abraham said of Sarah his wife, She is my sister. Is my sister. And Abimelech, king of Gerah, Abimelech, sent, king of Gerah sent, sent and took Sarah. Went and took Sarah. But God came to Abimelech in a dream by night. Right where you're sitting, anybody that throws stone at you again, that stone, that stone shall become your stepping stone to greatness. Yes, sir. But to Abimelech in a room by night and said to him, Behold, thou art but a dead man. God said to, said to Abimelech, Abimelech, You are but a dead man. For the woman which thou hast taken. For the woman that thou hast taken. For she is a man's wife. Is a man's wife. But Abimelech, God has promised that whoever places a curse upon you, he who put a curse upon him also. But Abimelech had not come near her, and he said, Lord, will thou slay also a righteous man? Will thou slay also a righteous man? Said he not unto me, she is my sister? Yes. And she even, she herself said, he is my brother? In yes. In the integrity of my heart. And innocency of my hands have I done this. Yes. And God said unto him. God said unto in him. In a dream. In a dream. Yeah, I know that thou did this in the integrity of thy heart. Yes. For I also withheld thee from sinning against I also me. withheld thee from committing sin against a man's wife. Therefore suffered I thee not to touch her. All those who run after married women, please stay away. In a bar, a woman complained to me that a man had particular interest in her. And I begged the man to stay away. A week after he died, whoever causes a servant of God, God will cross you. Read on. Now therefore, now therefore, restore the man his wife. Restore the man his wife. For he is a prophet. For he is a prophet. And he shall pray for thee. He shall pray for you. And thou shalt live. 
And thou shalt live. And if thou restore her not, if thou restore her not, no doubt that thou shalt surely know die. that God, that God will surely kill you and all that are dying. And you will die with those who are dying. It doesn't call for laughter; it calls for weeping. Anybody that throws a stone at you, that stone will become your own stepping stone to greatness. Yeah. My wife and I were kidnapped, which was something that had happened repeatedly. That was okay by me. I said to them, this cup of poison you have given to me shall now become tea. I drink this as tea. And you are going to obey as tea. I emptied the cup and gave it back to them. And they asked me, are you really a human being? Hey, let's not discuss that. Right where you are, anybody that throws a stone at you, that stone shall become, it shall become what? That week they kidnapped my wife and I, about the weekend, my phone rang again. Somebody said, we're looking for you. We're going to kidnap you. And I asked them, can you please allow my wife to finish the food she's cooking so that I can walk and run with you? As soon as I dropped the phone, boys from my village came to me and said, you have built her, you have built schools for us. You have built streets for us. Therefore, before anybody will kidnap you, that person will have to kidnap us first. I beg them not to kill anybody. They said, Reverend, we are not, we are not uh, born again people. We are the bad boys of the village. You know, they killed those four people and butchered them and cut them to pieces. Right where you are, whoever is aiming at you to harm you shall miss it. We are not ordinary people. We are extraordinary people. A day came just about that time. My phone rang. A group of seven boys said to me they were coming to kidnap me. What's the ransom? They said one million. You mean you will, you will kidnap me because of one million? They, they said, how much do you want to pay us? Make it uh, 10 million. Do you know, as they were bargaining and discussing how to harm me, a soldier passing by, heard them, saw them, aimed his gun at them, and killed seven of them. When you see a born again child of God, just know he's not an ordinary person. This God will fight for him. This God will fight for him. I'm going to bring this meeting to a close. Anybody here that wants to know Jesus personally and intimately and exponentially and empirically and livingly and as a living reality, stand up. You want to know this Jesus as a man will know the back of his hand. You want to know this Jesus and know him personally and know him intimately 
I know him experientially. I know him empirically. I said to God, let nothing stop me from becoming what you want me to be. This is a night of miracles. I want you to open your mouth. When I will pray and say, Thou power of God, let every yoke be broken. About 10, no, about 12 people here shall fall under the anointing and sleep only for two minutes. And that sleep shall be a healing sleep. Yeah. At the full gospel business name fellowship international in Miami, I said to Duplantis, he was preaching and people were busy taking coffee and tea playing like we have come to joke. I got up and said to them, when it will be my turn to preach, I will. I will ask God to kill all those who are making noise. On my way out, I will wake you up. Everybody sat up. <laughs> I said to them, they cannot be they cannot be powerful in dollars while we remain weak in anointing. No man can be taller than you and shorter than you. <laughs> when I said thou power of God, move! You need to see what happened there. People fell under the anointing and slept off five, five minutes each. And when they woke up, they found that they had been healed. And I said to them, I said to them, there are 250 people healed already. And this God shall now take over the rest of the story. When they healed, came out to testify. I was so happy to see Nigerians sing. And you may go, hey, they didn't hear what the Nigerians were singing. All they need, all they did was to dance. <laughs> this night, the healing power of God shall become real to you. where you are standing, you're not standing alone. He who is God is by your side. And every yoke of the enemy thrown at you shall become your stepping stone to greatness. Why give me seven, no, twelve people when the power of God shall break out and break forth and break through. These workers from the choir shall attend to those that be falling on the, on the floor. They will sleep only for two minutes and they shall be healed. They shall be blessed. They shall be honored. Who is the choir master? Bring me 12 people. Be fast, be fast, be fast. Those of you outside, you're part of the miracle. No, those of you are ushers outside. You're part of the miracle team. It is a bam It 
Il a pas moins, pas moins. On te dit que du nabo. Il dit a pas moins, pas moins. Il dit a pas moins, pas moins. Il dit a pas moins, pas moins. On te dit que du nabo. Il dit a pas moins, pas moins. Il dit a pas moins, pas moins. Il dit a pas moins, pas moins. Can we all pray? No, workers, you are not allowed to pray. You have to stand by and be ready to catch those that the power of God shall knock down. Father, all the workers standing, I declare them sanctified. I declare them anointed. I demand that the anointing of the Holy Spirit shall catapult them to the next level. Father, every form of premature death is now cancelled. Father, they will not beg for healing anymore. It shall be part of them this night. Therefore, anoint them and empower them and embolden them and heal them. And may they become your children. May they know you intimately and know you experientially and know you empirically and know you livingly and know you as a living reality. Father, any house they shall step into shall be a house for those who will live long. When they go from here, the hand of miracles shall be upon them. Father, they will live long. And no man born of a woman shall stop them. Yeah. Father, they will be empowered to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Yeah. What distinguishes a man from the next man is what he knows others do not know. Therefore, bless them with knowledge. Bless them with anointing. Bless them with unction. Bless them with healing. Bless them with good health. Bless them on every side of life. When they will go from here, Father, may your peculiar concentrated presence go with them. Father, when they will go from here, they will enjoy healing sleep. Yeah. Healing sleep. Yeah. Healing sleep. Yeah. Father, a woman I prayed for, instead of going home, went to the hospital. And her anointing came upon the four doctors on duty. And they slept off. The anointing upon her came upon all the nurses. Father, do it again tonight. Bless your people. Empower them. Embolden them. For I ask in Jesus' name. From all the workers, step into the audience. Step into the audience. Be fast. Hey, be fast, be fast, be fast. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Oh, 
to this audience. Everyone who is standing in your peculiar concentrated presence, let your anointing arise. Let the yoke be broken. Let your people be set free. Be set free. Be set free. Bow power of God in the name of Jesus. Tonight shall be a night of transformation for everyone that will follow under the anointing. And let the yoke be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. It be broken. Father, they'll cry no more. Father, they'll cry no more. For everyone that has fallen under the anointing, May you please catapult him to a place of honor and promotion and lifting. Honor him or her. Bless him or her. Father, let his or her lamentation become laughter. Father, all those who are saying, Where is my God? May you rise to them and bless them and bless them. And bless them. And bless them. I declare they shall become extraordinary people. They will do great and mighty things. Father, every sickness that has a name anywhere in their body is now removed. power of God in the name of Jesus <laughs> Father whoever comes from a family where people die prematurely that premature death is now cancelled Father, go from person to person. Wipe away their tears. Turn their lamentation into laughter. Father, they will cry no more. Every stone any enemy shall throw at them, it shall become the stepping stone to greatness. Somebody help us. Somebody help us. Somebody help us. I 
Ene wo ten to bon membo. Ami mo yo ma mi kwe. Ani wo ten to jigo ba. Ami mo yo ma mi kwe. Ami mo yo ma mi mo yo ma mi mo yo ma mi kwe. Ani wo ten to jigo ba. Ami mo yo ma mi kwe. Ani wo ten to bon membo. Ami mo yo ma mi kwe. If God has visited you tonight, if this night is the night of divine visitation, if God has changed your story, if God has wiped away your tears, I want you to live where you are and come out to this altar. I'll make what God had done for you permanent. Come, those of you outside, come in. Come in because you also have a testimony. Come. This coming Christmas shall be your best Christmas. That your father's uncompleted house shall be completed. Those who mock you, somebody help. Come in quickly. Come in. Don't stand like you don't know what you're looking for. Come quickly. Come quickly. If 